Your leaf blower can make fall yard maintenance a breeze, but if it doesn't run well or won't start, it does you no good at all. Hi, I'm Mark. In this video, I'm going to show you how to maintain your leaf blower. The first thing I'm going to do is take a look at the fuel in the blower. If you only use your blower once a year to clear leaves, the fuel has likely gone bad. Manufacturers suggest that fuel older than 30 days is bad and shouldn't be used. And that includes any fuel that you have sitting in a fuel can. An easy way to tell if fuel is bad is by its smell. And it's hard for me to explain what that smells like. That comes with experience. I will say though, if your fuel's been sitting for months and months, it's definitely gone bad. If you're using fuel that has ethanol in it, the fuel will often get a acid smell like vinegar. And that's one way to tell that it's bad. This fuel has been sitting in this blower for a year, so I'm going to go ahead and just get rid of it. I'll pour it into a can and then dispose of it properly. With the fuel removed, now I'll go ahead and replace the fuel filter. That's the first part of our tune-up. I'm using a piece of wire that I've shaped into a hook to pull the fuel filter from the tank. I'll remove the filter from the fuel line and install the new one. There's a wire clamp that secures the fuel filter to the tube. I'll hold that clamp so it's about an eighth of an inch from the end of the fuel line and then slide the filter into the fuel line. And now I can put the filter back into the tank and I'll reinstall the cap. The next part we'll want to replace as part of our tune-up is the spark plug. I'll remove the spark plug boot and use a wrench to remove the plug. Before I can install the new plug, I need to set the gap between the electrodes. To do that, I'll use a spark plug gapping tool. This gap will vary depending on your tool. As a general rule for a small two cycle engine, it's going to be 26 thousandths of an inch. But you may need to refer to your owner's manual to get the exact gap. I place the gapping tool between the two electrodes and it'll give me a measurement. In this case, it's already exactly 26 thousandths, so it's ready to go. If it were too tight, I'd need to spread it open, or if the gap were too big, I'd need to tap it tighter. With the plug gapped, now I can install it into the engine. And I'll replace the spark plug wire. The last part we need to replace as part of our yearly maintenance is the air filter. I'll remove the air filter cover, and then I can remove the filter. Now I can install the new air filter. I place it onto the air filter base and then reinstall the cover. And I'll secure the cover with the knob. And that's it for our yearly maintenance.